Hey there, Frank here from Remac, and in this short video, we're going to continue our work in optimization. And this time, we want to look at another important setting here, which is the ATR lookback period. And as you know, our strategy is self adjusting, shall we say, self learning, and it modifies its own behavior as market conditions change. That's one of the strengths of this strategy. The other one, of course, is the ability to capture a proven crowd behavior, which is the reemergence of momentum out of consolidation areas. Getting back to the point, in this test, I'm going to optimize for the ATR period, and I'm going to choose a minimum of 10, maximum of 30, in increments of 5 bars. I don't want to be too detailed in my choice of increments, so 5 is just fine. And as you know, by default, the strategy uses 20 as the look back, which works pretty well for us. But in this test, we'll see if that is actually the best we could find. Now, I'm just going to run this strategy on our futures index basket, which means four futures contracts, the most frequently used and traded futures contracts. And I'm going to use a pretty long look back period, five years altogether, actually a little bit more than five years, five and a half. I'm on a usual, on our usual time frame of 15 minutes. So I don't want to optimize for the minutes this time for the time frame. All I want is to find out what would be the best look back for the ATR. So the idea here is, as you know, let me just try to demonstrate this quickly. So the market behaves and the average size of the bar, a certain number of bars in the past, will give us an average true range. If the bars are of this size, let's say on GC or whatever, and then the next week, the bars go crazy and all the bars are bigger. That means that the volatility conditions have changed on the market. Now, most strategies are unable to adapt or modify their own behavior, trailing stops, targets and stops and so on, but ours can. And it is important, therefore, to actually look at what might be the best settings for the ATR look back. Do I want to look back five bars, maybe 15 bars? Do I want to look back 100 bars? Do I want to look back two months? Well, if I'm on a five-minute chart, two months is a little bit too long. Who cares what happened three weeks ago on the, on the chart? Doesn't really matter at this moment. So a careful consideration of this look back period, I think is in order. And this is what this test is all about. Now, as an extra, if we get good results on the equity curve or maybe little drama, and by drama, I mean drawdowns like this, difficult times when we can hardly sleep, that's not what we want. We want a pretty stable equity curve. And of course, as opposed to red, we going down, we want green equity curve to go up. That would just show the robustness of the strategy. And the five years is pretty long. Well, yes, mostly it was a bull market. But if you recall, we had the COVID drop in April 2020, a very long sideways period on the RTY, for example. So it's, uh, it's been... This period includes various market regimes on these instruments in the past five years. So the robustness of this strategy will or will not be shown by a pretty stable equity curve going through all these different market regimes. So let's see what we find. I'm going to start run here. And in the old days, we used to have to go to a bike ride or go for dinner and come back and check the results because it took hours and hours for this to run. Now, thanks to the lightning speed of BTX, this only takes a few minutes to run. So just to repeat, 15 minute time frame, optimizing for the ATR look back, the volatility setting in our strategy, and we're running it on four index instruments futures contract. Five years look back, five and a half actually. So let's see, we're almost done. 20 different iterations on these instruments. And here we go. All right. So instead of the many numbers, let's just look at the graphical representation. It's easier to see. 
starting with the NQ. So I'm actually, it's already sorted by performance. So 117, anything, as you know, anything over 1.0 is a positive expectancy. The next thing I usually look at is the number of trades because we need a large sample size for us to be able to draw any conclusions statistically from the results. 117 is certainly a very strong performance over almost 3,000 trades over a five-year period. So also remember, maybe 3,000 trades, yes, but if you do it in one or two days, that doesn't really say so much about the different market regimes because it's a very short span of time that you're testing for. But this includes five years. So a lot of things and a lot of things changed over five years. So I think this is a very good sign. And the accuracy, percent profitable is 53%, which is always good. But remember, in our edge, in the equation, the percent profitable, the accuracy is just one of the inputs. The other one is the win-loss ratio. All right. Now, actually, I want to say something about that because in our case, in this test, on purpose, we set the win-loss ratio to one to one. We're working with one R, which means three ATR profit target and three ATR stop loss. So this is a one one relationship. We call it one R. So I'm not playing around with the win-loss ratio so that the edge in the accuracy can actually surface. In any case, this is a pretty good equity curve. A little modest in the first couple of years, but then it gets going in the past uh, two, three years, actually. So I like that. So let's see the ATR setting, what ATR would work best, and 20 is the best setting here. So 20 is our default. So now you know it's not by accident. So 20 is actually over this five-year period on the NQ, a setting of 20 for the ATR look back work best. Let's look at another one. 110, still a very respectable edge here, bigger than one on the YM. Look at this equity curve. I'd be happy with an equity curve like this. And as to 15, you see ATR look back 15. Okay, that's pretty close to 20. So I think it's almost the same. All right. This is something I actually expected. The same asset class. Let's look at the ES also. And on the YM, we also had 2,800 trades. So it's a pretty large sample size. Now the ES, five-year period, we had a drawdown here around 2021. But good to see that the strategy robustly recovered from the drawdown. We didn't stay down there. And that just means that what we capture with this strategy, crowd behavior, does have an edge over a large number of trades. Again, the best ATR was a 20 setting. Can you see it here? So that's the same as for the NQ. And the weakest in the bunch was, but still bigger than one. So there's still a positive edge was the RTY. And I, if I recall those times, I think I can guess, here it is. I can guess the reason. There was a long period of time, more than a year, when the RTY was kind of sideways, range bound. And our strategy is not optimized for in sideways markets. In sideways markets, what we try to do is either stay out or preserve capital, which I think we pretty much did because 9,000 was the biggest damage here, temporarily, of course, but we came back robustly and we recovered. So what I can say about all these instruments that in this asset class, at least, the index futures, 20 seems to be a reasonable look back period. So if you work with our default setting, I think you'll be just fine. And also, the importance of running these tests, one importance, one significance of these tests, that this is how you build confidence in your system. By doing the back testing and the, and the optimization, you have to build up confidence in what you do in your work. And by looking at these number of trades and the percentage profitable and the edge, the equity curves, the potential drawdowns, there's no gain without pain, of course. So there are drawdowns and there are difficult periods, but you want a system that is able to recover and is robust, is able to perform reasonably well, actually it's in a stellar format, if we just look at the NQ. But even the YM and the ES are reasonably well. 
performing. This is what you want in a strategy, and this is how you build up confidence in what you do in your work. So this is it for now. Thank you very much, and we'll be back soon with another test. Until then, mindful trading. <laughs>